At first glance, Nelly Furtado had everything it took to be the world's biggest pop star. Effortless versatility within her style and music, a humble personality, the perfect producer and singer duo, and her transparent yet classy sexiness. It was no surprise when Furtado rose to fame with a hand grab of critically acclaimed hits at the start of the new millennium with I'm Like a Bird, I'm like a bird fly away. and Turn Off the Light. Her first two top 10 hits in the States from her double platinum debut album, Will Nelly, which was met with praise for its adventurous take on pop music, with I'm Like a Bird later going on to win her Grammy for Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. With the release of her gold-selling sophomore album, Folklore, Nelly was still highly equated with folk music and tied to her signature song at that time, I'm Like a Bird. The album marked a decline from her debut and was more successful in European territories, but failed to have a major single. However, she would bounce back like no other, while simultaneously reinventing herself, departing from her girl next door image when her and Timbaland teamed up for 2006's Loose album, which spawned eight singles worldwide, two of those singles, Promiscuous and Stay It Right, hitting number one in the U.S. With Promiscuous often referred to as a staple song when reflecting back on the mid and late thousands music scene. Nelly would later receive her third number one hit in this era alongside Timbaland and Justin Timberlake on the song Give It To Me. The Loose album went on to sell over 10 million copies worldwide, and it seemed as if Furtado was on her way to become a solidified fixture in the music industry. But while in her prime, she was struggling with the pressure of being in the limelight. She later told Daily Mail, I had a nervous breakdown on stage. I was on the Loose tour and my daughter was with me. I was being a mom and a singer on the road. I was exhausted. Then one night, I went on stage and I suddenly realized how stressed out I was. I actually cried my way through the first two songs. I'd spend hours along in my LA home just staring at the floor. I felt like a fraud, believing that people liked me for my image and not my music. While struggling with the pressures of fame, her and Timbaland, the man who helped elevate her, fell off due to legal reasons, and she struggled to follow up the mega success of the Loose album. She released a Spanish album titled Me Plan in 2009, but that project only sold 13,000 copies in its first week. However, it was effective in Latin countries, even winning her a Latin Grammy. In 2012, she released The Spirit Indestructible, which only sold 6,000 copies in the United States in its first week, and peaked at number 79 on the charts, although it did have many potential hits. After a five-year hiatus, she made a return in 2017 with her folk-inspired album, The Ride. But it only sold 1,814 copies during its first week. It was her most disappointing career sales yet, and pretty obvious that her music isn't connecting anymore. Despite her career practically fading, she doesn't seem too worried about it. I've had different scenes and I've dabbled in a lot of markets, so I see the music world as very global, and I'm always looking for new avenues and opportunities. So one chart or anything doesn't necessarily mean anything, she told Huffington Post. Nelly mirrors on often god of music and craving to be a normal human being. With my mom at um, like a motel, like in Victoria, British Columbia, where I'm from. <laughs> so I just found like I was missing that type of organic, real life experience. Yeah. Um, also, touring on the road with my daughter after a while became really tiring. And I just craved to be home. I to craved be to normal. be normal. Yeah. yeah. I was not in any way prepared for the scrutiny that fame would bring. Thank goodness I was 20 when it arrived. If I had been a celebrity at 16, I would have been misbehaving so badly, or I would have been so repressed and trying so hard not to misbehave that I'd been a total wreck by 25. I wanted to clean my own bathroom again and wash my own laundry again. I really missed normal life. Cleaning toilets really helped me, honestly. It sounds silly, but it kind of saved me. It's great to have your career take off and have those blessings. But if you don't have that time when you give and give, you crash. I need to stay mentally, emotionally, and physically well for my daughter, which was a great choice for her. Your mental health and happiness should always come first before anything. I'm glad she took care of herself. Not everyone can handle that amount of fame. In her prime, she was very overexposed, so it's understandable why the star didn't handle it well. Reflecting on her career and her prime excellence loose with Timbaland, the pop icon is grateful for the way her career played out. Over time, I've come to realize how special Loose is to a lot of people. It's good to be proud of what you do. And I think Tim and I really did create something new. I'm proud we were able to celebrate our chemistry on such a large level. I'm happy people like seeing us together. 
It's kind of funny. After Luz went down, it was the classic thing where him and I started fighting. Tim felt that I was ungrateful. Then we got into this crazy argument because we had some legal stuff that we didn't agree on. When he got married, I was away and couldn't come. All these little things led to a slow deterioration of our friendship. Now we're great. We're friends again. I do believe that we might make music again together. I can't help but wonder if her and Timbaland would have stayed a collaborative duo, would her albums following Loose have been successful? Nelly Furtado was on the cusp of being a head figure in the music industry. She had the world in her hands. The world ate Loose up. But she decided that fame and overexposure wasn't what she wanted. And that's completely fine. But it is more than shocking how she just vanished from everywhere after releasing something so monstrous, so loved, and so impactful. Nevertheless, I respect her decisions. What she did is really admirable. And the music that she gave will remain the timeless earworms that they are.